Can you imagine yourself exploring Greece, where history and beauty blend perfectly? Picture yourself among stunning landscapes, ancient ruins telling old stories, and lively streets full of today's energy. Every scene is like a postcard, connecting you to tales from long ago. Keep watching our documentary to experience and learn about a land where myths come to life, offering an experience you'll never forget. Santorini Santorini, a jewel in the Aegean's azure embrace. This island, shaped by volcanic fury, now stands as a testament to beauty reborn from ashes. Whitewashed homes and blue domed churches cling to cliffs, gazing over an endless sea. The village of Oya, famous for its sunsets that paint the sky in hues of gold and crimson, offers a moment of serene beauty. Streets wind like mazes, leading to hidden gems and breathtaking vistas at every turn. Below the caldera whispers secrets of ancient eruptions, its waters deep and mysterious. Beaches with sands of red, black, and white tell tales of their volcanic origins, inviting visitors to produce wines with a distinct character, a sip of which evokes the island's complex history and vibrant culture. A visit to the ancient ruins of Akrotiri unveils a civilization paused in time, offering a glimpse into a past both splendid and tumultuous. Acropolis of Athens The Acropolis of Athens, a crown over the city. Here, history isn't just remembered, it's alive. The Parthenon stands proud, a testament to ancient Greece's glory. Its columns, a story of Athena, wisdom's goddess. The Erechthion whispers tales of old, with caryatids holding history. The Temple of Athena, a shrine to victory, and the Grand Propylaea welcome all who seek the past. This UNESCO site isn't just ruins, it's a bridge to antiquity. Wander through the Odeon of Herodes Atticus, an ancient theater where performances still echo the artistry of yesteryears. Nearby, the Sanctuary of Dionysus, god of wine and theater, reminds us of Athens' cultural and religious depth. As we leave the Acropolis, Athens stretches out below. A modern city cradled by history.
its streets and buildings interwoven with tales as old as time. We're not just observers, we're part of the continuum, stepping into a narrative that spans millennia. Meteora. Meteora, a place where sky and ground merge. Here, huge rocks tower up, with monasteries perched high above, seemingly floating between heaven and earth. Monks built their homes here, seeking quiet and a deeper bond with the divine, creating a peaceful haven. These monasteries, marvels of old architecture, hang onto cliffs, almost challenging gravity. To reach them, you climb winding stairs cut right into the stone, leading to secrets and stunning views. Inside, the walls burst with ancient frescoes, weaving together tales of belief, bravery, and hope. Here, silence is powerful, filled with the sound of nature. Meteora is more than a place of worship. It's a showcase of human creativity and the pursuit of something greater. It reminds us of our endless search for meaning, aiming high while staying grounded. Delphi. Delphi, hidden in Mount Parnassus, is a place where ancient secrets whisper. It was known as the center of the world, home to the Oracle of Apollo whose visions guided people and cities. Follow the Sacred Way, a path that leads to the Temple of Apollo, where seekers once looked for truths. The ruins here remind us of Delphi's past as a spiritual hub. The theater, cut into the mountain, not only overlooks the old sanctuary, but also offers stunning views of the surrounding lands. It feels like you can still hear ancient dramas in the breeze. Crete. Crete is where myths were born and history was made. Imagine wandering through Knossos, the heart of Minoan civilization, where every corner tells a tale of Daedalus and Icarus, and the labyrinth seems almost real.
But Crete's magic doesn't stop at its ruins. The land itself invites adventure, from the soaring peaks to the deep valleys. Trek the Samaria Gorge to witness nature's grandeur, or unwind on beaches like Elafonisi, where the sand glows pink in the sunlight. And then there's the food. A true feast. Crete's dishes, rich in flavor and history, from the freshest seafood to the tang of local cheese, are a celebration of life on this enchanting island. Mykonos Mykonos, a canvas of dazzling white set against the blue Aegean, where tradition meets sophistication. The island's windmills, perched above Mykonos town, stand as iconic sentinels, their sails long resting from harnessing the wind. Wandering through the narrow streets of Mykonos town, one encounters a labyrinth of beauty. Little Venice charms with its waterfront bars and restaurants, offering sunset views that seem to blend the sea and sky into one. The island's beaches are realms of contrast and allure. From the serene shores of Ornos and Agios Ioannis to the vibrant scenes of paradise and super paradise, there's a corner of sand for every mood and moment. Mykonos vibrates with energy, from its stylish boutiques and galleries to its legendary nightlife. Yet, amidst the pulsating beats of beach clubs, the serene chapels and the quiet corners of the island whisper of a Mykonos that moves at its own pace. Roads. Roads, the island of nights, where history is etched into every stone and whispered by the sea breeze. Enclosed within its medieval walls, the old town of Rhodes is a mosaic of different epochs. From the ancient to the Byzantine to the Knights Hospitaller who left their indelible mark. Walking through the Street of the Knights, one can't help but feel transported back in time. Each cobblestone telling a story of chivalry and conquest. The Palace of the Grand Master, standing imposingly at the street's end, is a fortress of history, housing tales of past glories and intrigues. The island's beaches, like Sambika, Prasunisi, and Anthony Quinn Bay, offer azure waters and golden sands, a paradise for sunseekers and adventurers alike. The Valley of the Butterflies is a natural wonder, where thousands of butterflies create a mesmerizing spectacle each year.
Corfu. Corfu, an emerald isle in the Ionian Sea, where olive groves and cypress trees march down to meet the azure waters. under the Mediterranean sun. The old town of Corfu, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a tapestry of narrow streets shadowed by the past. The Liston, with its Parisian-style arcades, invites leisurely strolls, while the Spianata, one of Europe's largest squares, offers open space and historic sites, including the Old Fortress. Beyond the charm of the towns, Corfu's landscapes offer a haven for nature lovers. From the rugged coasts of Paleocastritza, where monasteries watch over the sea, to the tranquil beauty of the Corfu Trail, the island beckons explorers to its verdant hills and serene shores. Corfu's culinary scene reflects its diverse heritage with local dishes that weave together Greek, Italian, and French influences a testament to the island's storied past. Zakynthos Zakynthos, a sanctuary of natural wonders in the Ionian Sea, where turquoise waters embrace golden sands. The island is a symphony of natural beauty, from the famous Navagio Beach, with its iconic shipwreck and towering cliffs, to the serene blue caves that offer a spectacle of light and water. Beyond its shores, Zakynthos is a haven for the endangered Coretta Coretta turtles, especially in the protected waters of Laganas Bay. Here, nature's delicate balance is preserved, allowing a glimpse into the life of these majestic creatures. The island's villages, from the mountainous Exohora to the Costa Lagios Nicolaos, are steeped in tradition and beauty. Olive groves and vineyards paint the interior landscape, offering paths less traveled by the island's visitors. Zakynthos is not just a destination, it's an experience. The melodies of local cantatas fill the air in town squares, a testament to the island's rich musical heritage. Mount Olympus Mount Olympus isn't just any mountain, it's a landmark steeped in history and mythology, known as the residence of Zeus and the Greek gods. This towering peak is the tallest in Greece, attracting adventurers and history buffs alike. The mountain is a paradise for hikers.
Its trails wind through forests and meadows, leading to high rocky outcrops. Along the way, you might spot some of Greece's diverse wildlife, including rare birds and maybe even a fox or two. For those who make the climb, the main goal is Mytica's Peak. It's challenging, requiring a bit of scrambling over rocks, but reaching the top offers unparalleled views. You're not just on the highest point in Greece, you're standing where ancient legends say the gods lived. Nafplio. Nafplio, often called Greece's most beautiful city, sits elegantly on the Argolic Gulf. With a history that stretches back centuries, it was the first capital of modern Greece. The city's charm is undeniable, from its picturesque old town with narrow streets and neoclassical mansions to the expansive views from the Palamidi Fortress. The fortress, a symbol of Nafplio's strategic importance, offers a workout with its 999 steps. but the climb is rewarded with stunning views of the city and sea. Below, the Bortsi Castle sits on a tiny island in the harbor, once a prison and now a must-see landmark. Naflio is also a gateway to ancient sites. Just a short drive away, you can explore the ruins of Mycenae and Epidaurus, both UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Chania, Crete. Chania, with its Venetian harbor, narrow streets, and waterfront restaurants, is a jewel in Crete's crown. This city, where history is alive in every stone, offers a blend of cultures that have shaped its architecture, cuisine, and spirit. The Old Town is a maze of alleys and colorful buildings, leading explorers to hidden gems around every corner. At its heart, the Venetian harbor, lined with cafes and shops, is the perfect place to enjoy a leisurely coffee while gazing at the lighthouse, a beacon of Chania's past. Beyond the harbor, the city's beaches are among Crete's finest. Balos, Elephonisi, and Falasarna offer crystal clear waters and golden sands, a short drive from the city's hustle and bustle. Chania's market and local tavernas provide a culinary journey through Crete's flavors, from fresh seafood to rich stews and crisp salads.
monen vasia. Entering Monemvasia is like stepping back in time. Its cobbled streets, Byzantine churches, and the timeless architecture transport visitors to another era. The town is divided into two sections. The lower town, with its inviting alleyways and hidden courtyards, and the upper town, home to the ruins of the fortress and offering panoramic views of the Aegean. The lower town is vibrant, with quaint shops selling local crafts, cozy cafes and tavernas, offering a taste of traditional Greek cuisine. The emphasis here is on the simple pleasures of life, from enjoying a glass of Malvasia wine, the area's namesake to watching the sunset paint the stone buildings in warm hues. Hiking to the upper town is a journey worth taking. The path winds through ancient ruins, leading to the church of Agia Sophia, perched on the edge of a cliff. From here, the views of the sea and the surrounding landscape are unparalleled. A blend of natural beauty and historical depth. Lindas, roads. Lindos on the island of Rhodes is a blend of history and stunning scenery. It's famous for its Acropolis, which stands high on a hill, offering views of the village and sea. This site has ruins from ancient Greece, including the Temple of Athena, showing Lindos' importance through time. Walking through Lindos, you'll see narrow streets lined with traditional white houses. These pathways lead to small squares and Byzantine churches, each with stories to tell. Donkeys are a common sight, used to carry visitors up to the Acropolis. A nod to traditional ways in a modern world. The Acropolis isn't just about the past. It's a spot where you can see across the Aegean Sea, making it clear why this location was so significant for ancient civilizations. Below, the village buzzes with life, cafes and shops tucked into every corner. Lindos is surrounded by beautiful beaches. St. Paul's Bay is a highlight, with clear waters perfect for swimming. It's said that Apostle Paul landed here, adding to the area's historical significance. Simi Island. Simi Island is known for its stunning neoclassical architecture and a harbor that looks like a painting.
Its history is rich, with ties to sponge diving and shipbuilding. The island is split into the upper and lower towns, offering beautiful views and historic sites like the Knights of St. John's Castro. Simi isn't just about the visuals, it's also a place of vibrant traditions and festivals, particularly honoring the Archangel Michael Panamitis. Hiking trails lead adventurers to hidden beaches and historical monasteries, showcasing the island's natural beauty. Don't miss trying the local specialty, Saimi Shrimp, a true taste of the sea. Hydra Island Hydra Island offers a unique step back in time, free from the noise of cars, embracing traditional modes of transport like donkeys and boats. Its harbor is a picturesque setting, framed by historic mansions that hint at a wealthy seafaring past. These buildings now host a vibrant mix of art and culture, reflecting Hydra's status as a magnet for creatives and intellectuals. Walking the island's paths unveils hidden beaches and crystal clear waters. Ideal for those seeking peace and natural beauty. Hydra's history is rich, from maritime success to a significant role in the Greek War of Independence celebrated in local museums. Spinalonga Island, Crete Spinalonga Island, off the coast of Crete, is famed not just for its natural beauty, but for its poignant history. Once a Venetian fortress, it later became a leper colony, the last one in Europe, which operated until 1957. This history imbues the island with a deep sense of resilience and human spirit. Visiting Spinalonga, you're greeted by the well-preserved fortifications that once protected the island. Walking through the abandoned village and hospital, visitors get a glimpse into the lives of the people who lived here, isolated from the world yet forming a tightly knit community. Spinalonga is a place of reflection and learning, drawing visitors who come to pay homage to the resilience of its former inhabitants. Thessaloniki Thessaloniki, vibrant and historic, seamlessly blends its ancient heritage with a lively modern culture. Famous for the White Tower and ancient Roman Forum, 
It's a city where history is visible at every turn. Anopoli, the upper town, offers charming streets and stunning views, showcasing the city's bygone eras alongside its bustling life. The city's food scene is a highlight, with markets, tavernas, and cafes serving up local flavors. Cultural life thrives through festivals and events that fill the calendar. From film to music and art, reflecting Thessaloniki's dynamic spirit, Key sites like the Byzantine Walls and archaeological museums enrich visitors' understanding of its past, while the city's nightlife and dining options speak to its present-day appeal. Epidaurus Epidaurus is famous for its ancient Greek theater, known for perfect acoustics. Built in the 4th century BC, it seats up to 14,000 people. The site was a center for healing, dedicated to the god Asclepius, showcasing early medical practices. The area includes a sanctuary, sports facilities, and a museum with artifacts from excavations. The theater is still used for performances, linking past and present. Epidaurus highlights ancient Greek culture's focus on health and the arts. It's a key site for understanding Greek history and architecture. Mestras Maestras, a captivating UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Peloponnese, stands as a testament to Byzantine glory. This wonder of the Morea was once a flourishing city, rivaling Constantinople in its beauty and significance. Founded in the 13th century, Maestras became a center of Byzantine culture and power, attracting scholars, artists, and theologians. Nestled on the slopes of Mount Tigatos, its strategic position offered control over the region. Mistra's architecture, a blend of churches, palaces, and fortifications, showcases the evolution of Byzantine and post-Byzantine art. Even as a ghost town today, Mistra's ruins whisper stories of its past inhabitants and their lives, offering a vivid picture of Byzantine civilization's final chapter before the fall to the Ottomans. Kefalonia
Cephalonia's geological wonders are standout features, with the Drogarati Cave's stalactites and stalagmites forming natural art over millennia. The island's coastline is a mosaic of beaches, from the red sands of Xi to the pebbled shores of Antisamos. Each offering unique experiences and stunning settings for relaxation and water sports. The island was famously depicted in the novel and film Captain Corelli's Mandolin highlighting its dramatic history during World War EI and the enduring spirit of its people. Kefalonia also serves as a gateway to exploring the Ionian Sea, with boat tours to Ithaca, the legendary home of Odysseus, and the lesser-known but equally enchanting islands nearby. Mount Athos. Mount Athos, often referred to as the Holy Mountain, is not just a geographical location but a cornerstone of Eastern Orthodox monasticism. This autonomous polity within the Greek Republic is strictly males only, preserving its monastic traditions with rules that date back centuries. Its 20 monasteries, each a fortress of spirituality, are ranked in a hierarchical order established over time. The architecture of Mount Athos reflects the Byzantine tradition. With many monasteries boasting remarkable frescoes, icons and libraries filled with priceless manuscripts and religious texts, making it a significant center for Orthodox Christian scholarship and art. The Athenite community follows a unique daily rhythm marked by services, prayer and communal meals. Life here is governed by the Byzantine calendar, with its own timekeeping system that adds to the sense of stepping out of the modern world, into a realm where spirituality dictates the pace of life. Patmos Island Patmos Island, often heralded as a spiritual haven, is renowned for its religious significance and tranquil beauty. It's most famous as the site where St. John wrote the Book of Revelation. The Monastery of St. John the Theologian, a fortress-like structure, dominates the skyline offering insights into Byzantine art and architecture. The Cave of the Apocalypse, where St. John is said to have received his visions, is a place of pilgrimage and reflection. Beyond its religious landmarks, Patmos boasts serene beaches like Siliamos and Agriolivado, perfect for relaxation and contemplation. Patmos Chora, the island's capital, is a maze of narrow alleys and whitewashed houses, reflecting a blend of religious tradition and Greek island life.
Vicos Gorge. Vicos Gorge, in the Pindus Mountains of northern Greece, is part of the Vicos Aus National Park. Renowned for its depth and scenic beauty, it's listed by the Guinness World Records as the world's deepest gorge in proportion to its width. The gorge stretches over 12 kilometers and reaches depths of more than 900 meters. A haven for hikers, Vicos Gorge offers trails that wind through diverse landscapes from river crossings to forested paths providing spectacular views of the gorge's steep walls and the Voidomatis River below. The region is rich in biodiversity, home to rare flora and fauna, making it a significant ecological site. Ancient Corinth. Ancient Corinth stands as a testament to the complexities of ancient civilization, blending immense historical significance with captivating ruins. Beyond its famous landmarks like the Temple of Apollo and the formidable Acrocorinth, the city's ancient port of Lycaon reveals Corinth's role as a maritime power, with remnants of docks and walls submerged underwater, hinting at a bustling ancient economy. The site's Bema, a large elevated platform, is where the Apostle Paul is believed to have been brought before the Roman proconsul, making it a significant location for Christian pilgrims. This connection adds a layer of spiritual significance to Corinth's archaeological appeal. Festivals and athletic games were integral to Corinthian society, rivaling those of Olympia and Delphi. The Isthmian Games, celebrated in honor of Poseidon, were hosted nearby, underscoring Corinth's cultural importance in the ancient world. Ioannina Ioannina, the capital of Epirus in northwest Greece, is a city rich in history and natural beauty. It's known for its picturesque lake, Lake Pamvotida, with the iconic Ioannina Island settled in its waters. This island, accessible only by boat, is famous for its monasteries, each with unique frescoes and history. The city itself is surrounded by ancient walls with significant historical sites within, such as the Byzantine Museum and the Ioannina Castle. The castle, one of the oldest in Greece, houses the Aslan Pasha Mosque, now a museum showcasing the region's Ottoman heritage. Ioannina played a pivotal role in the Greek War of Independence and has a vibrant cultural scene, reflecting a blend of Christian, Islamic, and Jewish heritage.
Its old bazaars and traditional silver shops highlight its long history as a center of craftsmanship and trade. Lefkada Island Lefkada Island, connected to the mainland of Greece by a long causeway and floating bridge, offers a unique blend of stunning landscapes, beautiful beaches, and traditional Greek culture. Famous for its turquoise waters and white sandy beaches like Porto Katsiki and Agremni, Lefkada attracts beach lovers and water sports enthusiasts from around the world. The island is also known for its charming mountain villages like Caria, where traditional crafts and the Lefkadian embroidery are kept alive. Lefkada's interior is lush, with green valleys and high peaks offering hiking trails that provide panoramic views of the Ionian Sea. The island has a rich cultural heritage, with summer festivals showcasing folk music, dance, and local cuisine. The capital, Lefkada town, is vibrant, with a marina, narrow streets, and squares surrounded by neoclassical buildings, reflecting its Venetian influence. Naxos Island Naxos, the largest and greenest island in the Cyclades, blends incredible beaches with ancient history and lush landscapes. It's famous for the Portara, the massive marble gateway to an unfinished temple of Apollo, standing as a sentinel over the harbor and offering stunning sunset views. The island's interior is dotted with traditional villages like Halki and Aparanthos, where time seems to stand still. These villages are known for their Venetian architecture, marble-paved streets, and the warm hospitality of their inhabitants. Local crafts, especially weaving and pottery, thrive here, alongside the production of Naxos's renowned cheeses and Kitron liqueur. Naxos's fertile valleys support a rich agricultural tradition, making the local cuisine exceptionally fresh and varied. From olive groves to vineyards, the island's produce is a key ingredient in its culinary offerings. Paros Island Paros Island, nestled in the heart of the Cyclades, is renowned for its stunning beaches, charming villages, and vibrant cultural scene. The island blends traditional Greek life with modern amenities, making it a popular destination for all types of travelers.
Nausa, and Parikia, Paros's main towns, are perfect examples of Cycladic architecture. With whitewashed houses, narrow streets, and blue-domed churches. Nausa, a picturesque fishing village, has evolved into a cosmopolitan hub, offering chic boutiques, waterfront cafes, and a lively nightlife. The island's interior is dotted with traditional villages like Lefkis and Marpisa, offering a glimpse into the island's heritage and tranquil rural life. The local cuisine reflects the Aegean's bounty, with fresh seafood and locally produced wine and cheese. Skyathos Island Skyathos Island, part of the Sporides Archipelago in the Aegean Sea, is celebrated for its lush pine forests, crystal clear waters, and vibrant nightlife. It's a haven for beach lovers with over 60 beaches ranging from the world-renowned Kukunaris to secluded coves accessible only by boat. The island's capital, Skiathos Town, is a maze of narrow cobbled streets, whitewashed houses, and a lively waterfront filled with shops, cafes, and tavernas. The old port area is the heart of Skiathos's social life, where locals and visitors alike gather to enjoy the island's culinary offerings and the view of traditional wooden boats bobbing in the harbor. Milos Island Milos stands out in the Cyclades for its geological diversity, home to over 70 beaches, each with distinctive features. Firaplaka Beach, for example, is edged by towering cliffs of multicolored rocks, while Sagrado Beach offers an adventurous descent through a narrow passage between rocks. The island's volcanic landscape has created natural wonders like the Cleftico Caves, accessible only by boat. These sea caves and rock formations were once hideouts for pirates and are now a popular spot for swimming and exploring the crystal clear waters. Historically, Milos has been inhabited since prehistoric times, with ancient ruins scattered across the island, including the prehistoric settlement at Philokopi. The discovery of the Venus de Milo, now in the Louvre, underscores the island's rich archaeological legacy. Milos's thermal springs, such as those at Adamus and Canava, are another attraction, offering therapeutic benefits and a unique way to experience the island's natural beauty. T 
Tinos Island. Tinos Island is a captivating blend of spiritual significance, artistic heritage, and natural beauty. Its landscape is dotted with over 700 chapels and churches, but the most revered is the Church of the Panagia Evangelistria, housing the miraculous icon of the Virgin Mary drawing pilgrims from across the globe. The island's marble craftsmanship, a tradition passed down through generations, is evident in its elaborate dovecotes, intricate fountains, and detailed church facades. Pyrgos, one of Tinos's largest villages, is particularly noted for its marble art museum and numerous sculptor studios reflecting the island's long-standing association with marble craftsmanship. Amorgos Island Amorgos Island, steeped in myth and tradition, is a jewel of the Aegean Sea. Beyond its breathtaking monastery, the island is a tapestry of untouched beauty and ancient customs. Its dramatic landscape, marked by rugged mountains and deep blue waters, invites exploration and solitude. Historically, Amorgos was known for its early Christian and Byzantine heritage, with numerous chapels dotting the landscape, each with its own story. The island's ancient ruins, including the remnants of the ancient city of Manoa, provide a window into its distant past. The traditional villages of Amorgos, such as Cora, the island's capital, are characterized by narrow labyrinthine streets, whitewashed houses, and vibrant squares that host community gatherings and local celebrations. These villages are a living museum of cycladic life, where time moves at a leisurely pace. Andros Island Andros Island, the northernmost of the Cyclades and second in size among them, is known for its lush landscapes, rich history, and distinct architecture. Unlike its Cycladic neighbors, Andros boasts abundant water sources, making it unusually green and fertile. The island features a mix of rugged mountains, serene beaches, and terraced vineyards, offering diverse experiences for visitors. Its coastline is dotted with sandy beaches, secluded coves, and clear blue waters with Achla, Zorkos, and Vitali being among the most beautiful and unspoiled. Andros Town, or Chora, the island's capital, is characterized by neoclassical mansions, narrow alleys, and a medieval castle at its tip.
The town reflects the maritime wealth of Andros, with the Gulandris Museum of Modern Art highlighting its cultural richness. The Mani Peninsula The Mani Peninsula, located in the southern Peloponnese, stands out for its rugged landscapes, tower houses, and deep historical roots. This area is divided into Outer Mani with its scenic coastline and picturesque villages, and Inner Mani, known for its austere beauty and traditional Maniot towers, symbols of the region's historical clan feuds. Mani's culture is rich with legends and traditions, deeply influenced by its isolation and the stoic character of its people. The region's architecture is unique, featuring stone towers, built as both homes and fortresses, reflecting the Maniot's need for defense during turbulent times. The peninsula is also home to ancient sites, Byzantine churches and secluded coves, offering a glimpse into Greece's varied history and natural beauty. The Deiros Caves, an underground river system, are among its natural wonders, showcasing stunning stalactites and stalagmites. Aegina Island Aegina's allure extends beyond its historical monuments to include a rich tapestry of cultural and natural attractions. The island's interior is dotted with olive groves and pine forests, leading to secluded beaches and quaint villages. Among these, Herdica is a picturesque fishing village with waterfront tavernas, offering fresh seafood and views of the sunset over the Saronic Gulf. The Islands Archaeological Museum in Aegina Town provides a deeper dive into its ancient past housing artifacts from the Temple of Aphaea and other significant sites across Aegina. This collection offers insights into the island's role in trade, culture, and religion throughout history. The island's network of hiking trails invites nature lovers to explore its diverse landscapes from rugged coastlines to gentle hills. Barga Parga, nestled on the northwest coast of Greece, combines the beauty of an island with the charm of a mainland village. Surrounded by lush green hills and clear blue waters, it's a scenic jewel of the Epirus region. The town is famous for its colorful houses that climb the hillside up to a Venetian castle 
which offers panoramic views of Parga and the Ionian Sea. The castle, a testament to Parga's rich history, was a strategic defense point against various invaders, and now serves as a reminder of the town's past struggles and victories. Below, the bustling harbor is lined with cafes, tavernas, and shops making it a lively center day and night. Parga's beaches, like Valtos and Lichnos, are easily accessible and known for their beauty, providing perfect spots for swimming, sunbathing, and water sports. The town also serves as a gateway to exploring the nearby Acheron River. Known for its mythological significance and natural beauty, offering activities such as rafting and hiking. Kavala Kavala, a coastal city in northern Greece, is steeped in history and beauty, stretching across the slopes of Mount Simvolo, forming a natural amphitheater by the sea. Known as the Blue City, Kavala's rich past is visible through its well-preserved Byzantine castle, old aqueduct, and Ottoman houses. The city's landmark, the Camares, is a monumental aqueduct built by the Ottomans, standing as a testament to Kavala's architectural and historical significance. The Old Town, or Panagia district, with its narrow alleys and traditional houses, offers a glimpse into the city's multicultural heritage. Nisiros Nisiros is a volcanic Greek island known for its active volcano and quiet charm. The island's main draw is its volcano crater, Stephanos, where visitors can see geothermal activity up close. Mandraki, the capital, features narrow streets, white houses, and a medieval castle offering sea views. The island has untouched beaches and traditional villages like Nikia and Emporios, showcasing Greek life. Halkidiki Halkidiki, situated in northern Greece, is celebrated for its three peninsulas, Cassandra, Sithonia, and Athos, each offering unique experiences. Cassandra is known for lively resorts and nightlife, Sithonia for its pristine beaches and camping, and Athos for the monastic community of Mount Athos, accessible only to men with special permission.
The region boasts crystal clear waters, golden beaches, and rich historical sites, including ancient Olynthos and the Petrolona Cave, famous for prehistoric findings. Halkidiki's diverse landscape, from dense forests to tranquil bays, alongside its culinary offerings, featuring fresh seafood and local wines, makes it a multifaceted destination. Rethymno Crete Rethymno's appeal extends beyond its historic architecture and beautiful beaches to its vibrant cultural scene and natural wonders. The city's Forteza is not just a monument but a venue for music and art festivals, offering performances against a backdrop of ancient walls and panoramic sea views. In the heart of the old town, the Ramondi Fountain, an elegant Venetian structure, is a reminder of the city's rich history and a popular meeting point for locals and visitors alike. Adventure seekers can explore the Edeon Cave, believed to be the birthplace of Zeus, or hike through the imposing Samaria Gorge. The surrounding countryside is dotted with ancient monasteries and chapels, some hidden in the mountains, offering a glimpse into the spiritual life of Crete. As our exploration of Greece's wonders concludes, remember that this journey is just a glimpse of what awaits. Ancient ruins, stunning landscapes, and a rich cultural tapestry beckon for your own discovery. If you've enjoyed this voyage through Greece's marvels and wish to embark on more extraordinary journeys with us, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest adventures, ensuring you never miss out on the beauty our world has to offer.